Hi, my name is Dual Davis, World Composting, and today we are going to start our hamster bin that has, or I should say, our, our worm bin that has hamster bedding in it. This is kind of a tongue twister in some ways, or because or it's not a hamster bin really. I'm not just not going to have a hamster in it. It's just the bedding that I'm taking out of the bin, adding it to a worm system, and we're going to use that to raise some worms. Now, I just showed a video uh, yesterday of me harvesting out of my ANC bin. This is the one of me adding those to this bin that has the hamster bedding in it. So your voting is the one that actually caused this. So it was eight to seven in favor of the ANCs. The Reds just lost by that one vote and it wasn't, it was close though, it was almost a tie. And it's time to start, start this system. Now, there were a few concerns when I made that hamster uh, bedding video, the initial one of the setup. And I wanted to let you know that it had already been sitting in my basement for about a month before I added it to the system. So I'm hoping that that kind of balanced off that pH. We are going to add, of course, our crushed eggshells to it, which we normally do as a grit for the worms to begin with. But also we're going to see just how they do it. It does have, um, you know, a lot of the, the uh, hamster waste, including some food and also some of the, uh, the wood products that might be coming out of there. But also, you know, obviously it's uh, excrement and it's pee. So... We're going to see how this works. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know if the worms are going to like it. I don't know if they're going to hate it. Uh, uh, somebody had also mentioned about adding like a water to it uh, that's an alkaline format. So that way it'll kind of like neutralize it. I'm not going to start by doing that. This is just standard water for my tap, which is, as far as I can tell, pH neutral. It's right around a 7. So um, I think it might be a little bit high, like 7, 7.4, 7.5 or something like that. But uh, it, it, basically around a 7. So it's not going to be like an 8 or an 8.4 or something like that that'll help change the uh, the pH of the the, uh, the bin itself. But for right now, let's go and add the worms. Let's take a look at how it is. And I've, just so you know, I have been adding water this entire time. I didn't just completely, uh, you know, stop adding water to it for the last few weeks that it's been sitting out. So with that, let's go take a look and let's get the worms added into the system. All right, as you can see right here, this date of 729, that's when we actually first did this system today is the 19th so it's had plenty of time to sit and this should be ready so um, just as a reminder i am using a different glove when i work in the system as this has hamster bedding in it and not my normal castings and let's just see it's a little bit dry underneath because i've been just spraying the top but overall we're going to just kind of dig this up a little bit just to see how it looks in here definitely is very dry I am seeing what looks like some fruit flies in here, which is very surprising since um, you know, there's been no food in here added, really. It's just this bedding material. But a little bit of moisture in the bottom here that's kind of saturated through. That's fine. It'll work its way through. I did not have this covered while it was being set up, so this that's probably why a little bit of this is... Uh, the top is wet as I was just spraying the top down and not all the, all the internals. And there's nothing really there to hold the moisture in. So we are going to have to add a top to this. Uh, I'll have to get one made. I don't have one currently at this time, but we might throw just a bag on top just to kind of hold some of that in. But look, for right now, let's just add a little bit more water into here just to kind of get this ready. We mix it up a little bit and we can just spray it down, make sure we're holding all this stuff down, all the material that's in here. There is some very dry, dusty cardboard in here for the that's in the system. And you can see a little bit of the black over here. Those are the castings that we added. And we're going to do this and we're going to get these worms added and we're really just going to close this up. We're not going to do a whole lot today. You know, just want to make sure that these worms are ready to go. Let's just take another check in here. Let's kind of mix this around a little bit because this is pretty dry, I have to admit. So let me rinse off my glove here too. But that's okay. I've had worms working in dry stuff. I know some people are going to complain that I didn't wet everything beforehand, but I've already saturated this stuff multiple times, and there isn't a lot of material in here, and I don't think these shavings are going to hold a whole lot of water. Um, some of the paper bedding will, but the shavings probably won't. So with that, let's go ahead and add our worms, and we're just really going to put this off to the side. I really don't want to do a whole lot with this today. Uh, it's just to get it started and get the worms in there. This is going to be sitting next to just so you know, my other 
African night or my my only African nightcrawler bin, and the reason for that is that they're going to have a lot of. See, as you can see right here, this is a big worm ball. I mean, look at this thing. This is a massive, massive looking worm ball. So they're actually adding quite a few worms in here. But we're going to just add them in here. We're going to let them work their way into the soil, work their way in here, and see how they do at turning this into castings. Now, I don't know how they're going to do with some of these shavings. The cardboard, I think, will go quick. The worm uh, poop and stuff will go quick. But I don't know about those, those shavings, how long those will take. So that's our update for this. And uh, as I said, I am going to get a cover on here. Let me just grab, actually, real quick. I think for right now... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a plastic or a uh, paper bag on top here, like this. And they'll probably eat away at this bag too, but this should hopefully hold in some of this moisture in here a little bit without having it be too uh, too bad. So that's going to be our way of doing this, I think, this time. I'm going to try this out. I've had the, the plastic on top for the other ones. We'll see if this holds it in or at least it gets wet on top and then the worms can go underneath. So that's my update. And that's what we're going to start with for this, uh, this bin. So I will update with today's date of August uh 19th 2021 and we'll see how this goes for hamster bedding in a worm bin thank you for watching